about to be a good one. Yep. It's definitely going to be a good one. And we were talking about Peach earlier, how strong the character is, how relevant this character is in the meta. And right. uh, guess what? You guys get to see one of the best in the business, Umeki, the best Peach from oh, Japan. Man, this, ain't, this ain't no damn Peach, all right? This is Daisy. I need you oh, to get it right. You got to get it right. I need you, right, you to get it right, man. You right, you right. You got to get I'm kidding. No, but yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is Daisy gang over here, man. Daisy you got to get gang. with it or get lost. All right, we got Toon Link, though. I really appreciate the fact that 3XA is still playing Toon Link. Obviously, a yep. lot of Toon Links jump ship to Young Link. Hey, hey. Don't, don't blame them. I respect so it. I respect you. That you nair. Do to get, yeah. <laughs> that nair, though. The nair, then the bow and arrows, and well, every damn thing. <laughs> forward air, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do to get the W, but you know what? Like we talked about before, characters, specialists, character loyalists are still existing here. They are not all extinct with this in mind. We get to see some Toon Link action. Yeah, exactly. And, and Toon history Link shows Toon Link has had a pretty strong showing at Genesis in the past. Exactly. You're correct on that one. And I mean, Toon Link is still very like not very but kind of similar to uh young link but you know you got the i feel like you have more consistent like raw kill power the up b is going to be a kill option for two link as well as the back throw the young link does not have a killing throws which can sometimes hinder him in uh kill power here but i mean <laughs> you know who doesn't hinder in kill power that daisy no daisy man that she daisy just, hits no hard. sort of tools man her utility belt is very well equipped on a thousand ways oh, to yes. make good use of you yeah that forward air such a hard hitting move coming out from daisy that crown swing man it hits so hard it's got so much range and you got combos into it as well but right now 3x is doing a really good job peach wants to get in wants to get these combos cooking but yes. he can't when uh 3XA is zoning him out. That's right. 3XA is certainly very well aware of what Peach and Daisy can do in this, man. That's why we're seeing a lot more just bomb and then run away. Bomb, you know, maybe one or two yeah. hit jobs. Not quite going for the bomb conversion. Just in case he whips, he knows that. Whatever he whips with, Daisy's going to be able to punish accordingly. Oh, I yes. love that, though. Catching Daisy off stage, trying to hit her with the dare. That's something we don't quite see a lot of, especially versus Daisy and Peach's yes. characters that have this wonderful off-stage maneuverability. It's really hard to spike them at times. Oh yeah, you have the float. You have these extra resources you can use off stage. You have up B, you have side B, you have float as well to solve it out. And we see Umeki utilizing all of it, using the float to get over the projectiles and sinking down into the up B. But the back throw, gonna seal it out for 3XA. That's right, man. Closing out from the ledge very, very proficiently. Beautiful stuff here. 113% right here on 3XA. And I expect how well he's been playing in that first stock. I expect to see him hold out this stock here just a little bit longer before Umeki makes uh, make some pay for it, honestly. I'm, oh, mm. oh, almost. Ooh, very, very close. And what? Oh, the turn up. No yeah. double jump. The up. Oh, not going to be in range for that counter. And you know what? That's I do right. want to point out that floaty zoners can be a little troublesome for Peach. You don't have the combo game on these fast bars, but the float cancel back here. Going to seal it out. But you, when you when you can lock down Peach and like make it hard for her to maneuver in, it's going to be a little tough for Peach to come in and get this damage. And since three on um, three XA is playing Toon Link. It is a floaty type character, so when you do get in, your combo game's not going to be that 0-50. to 50. That's right, and I like the game plan of hand both these two gentlemen have. It very much seems like they've done some research on each other, and they oh, know yes. what they need to do to succeed. Just a moment ago, when 3 x was trying to recover back onto the legend stage, we seen the Toad come out. All right, uh, you make you decide to, uh, to unload the Toad yep. just in case he recovered a little bit high off the ledge. Obviously, he'd be able to push him back out into the blast zone with no jump, and then, of course, it might have been able to off the bomb as well, which would have just killed all the resources. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, though, mm. 3XA building up this wall of projectiles. And not only that, anytime we see the float in, he throws the boomerang immediately. Just in case the float happens right in his face, the boomerang will be able to knock Yumeki out of it. Yeah, and one thing, I mean, Peach or Daisy, the, oh, the turn up toss into the forward air. Umeki showing us the combo potential. Even at these higher percents, you have things that can link into that forward air. Most definitely. 100, excuse me, a little under 100% here, 98.2, <laughs> not oh. the best spot in the world to be in here, but 3XA looking to cook it up here. Now, he has to get a little bit more aggressive. You know, in the beginning of the match, he was certainly winning, so he was able to play his projectile game and his bomb conversions just a little bit better, but now he's playing from behind. He has to figure out a way to get in. Yeah, the up air not going to connect there. Umeki going to do the air dodge to the right. The down smash not going to connect. And right now, Umeki looking to get this kill. That forward air would have killed in that position. Umeki still putting on this pressure. Right, not Ooh. stopping, but the up smash read from 10 years ago when Billy <laughs> came out and brawl. There it is, man. <laughs> I know you're going to be right here, man. That's right. There's the up smash. <laughs> Okay, bringing this thing back into close recorders. You know, stocks tell one story, but percents certainly speak a much different tale here. And I just love Umeki's use of turnip. Tur so many projectiles got buffed in this game. That's and right. turnip is no stranger to that. We see Umeki comboing off of turnip, using turnips to zone out this Toon Link and using her own projectiles. Now she has a turnip in hand off stage as well. That's such a threatening position. Most definitely is here. 140% here playing to save. I like the B reverse Ooh. bow and arrow. A little bit more safe on his projectiles. This type of falling up there. What the heck? Dang. Dang. 
That was some good damage right there. And 3X is like, yo, man, I might be a zoner, but I got the combos got the on combo deck. Too. That combo is definitely triple X if I've ever seen it myself, <laughs> man. Okay. Okay, right. using the projectiles to keep Yumeki out. Yumeki with these very ominous floats just right in your face. You know the back air is coming. Oh, yes. Waiting for you to drop shield or to try to press a button. At this point in time, Yumeki uh -oh. has, well, had the ability Whoa. to go for a trade to get the KO. Not anymore, though. Man, and Umeki utilizing that float, just staying out of range. And the back air mm. going to call out that jump. And really good utilization of the rhythm of how he read, out, like how 3XA wanted to get out of the situation. He did the float cancel bear, and he was like, once I hit your shield, I know you want to jump. I know you want to get out here. So I'm going to do a rising back air to cover that. And Umeki, such a solid read. And it was looking so scary. That's right, man. The it's, max it's, rage. It's all about... It's all about how you decide to read your opponent. Yeah. And I feel like even though 3XA was playing very well, and even though Yumeki kind of brought that one to close quarters, Yumeki certainly had a game plan in hand yes. that he wanted to execute versus Toon Link. He's played against a lot of Toon Links in the past. But he's been around, Toon Link's been around since Brawl. Yumeki's been around since Brawl, hell, if not before that. Yeah. 3 xa going to have to bring something a little bit different to the table here if you're going to try to go for some of these fancy falls. Because we did see one really cool combo, that falling backwards up air. I was like, yo. 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 <laughs> yo. <laughs> the double back air into the falling up air, such good damage. And those moves don't do, like, little damage They're like all those added up really quick and it was looking scary if if 3xa that was pretty much last talk last hit because of the rage if you got another bomb into fair that would have been it yes that so was some that was some sexy stuff I oh yeah that it was, was a clean yes that was like almost uh some very twitter combo we oh you know, yeah like you know just something that you see in like a 30 second twitter video you're like there's no way this combo would ever actually hit in real life like right, right. and then yet here we are at genesis 6 in real life and he's going <laughs> ham all right but you know what though enough about game number one we can't harp on that too much you know, history has been set for that. We got to talk about game number two and what we need to do to adjust here. Yumeki played very well, played out of his mind. You know, the same could be said here for 3XA. We're not getting any character switches like we talked about. These two guys are going to be character, character loyalists. Loyalist. Yes. I want to see some better bomb conversions here from 3XA, at least from what we've seen in the beginning of that first match. He yes. kind of fell short of sight, um, you know, at the ending of that last one. But here, though, we got some platforms we can kind of work with. Let's see what we yes. can turn this into, man, on Battlefield. Start the bombardment downwards. I have all the tools. I have the bombs. And right now, I, I feel like Umeki did a really good job in the previous game, just like starting to adapt to the projectiles. And we saw a lot of more, a lot more turn up usage. So we're going to see it coming into the game too as well. Umeki not really feeling like he has to kind of commit into these projectiles because he has a projectile of his own. That's right. He most definitely does. You know, the, the turn up, like we talked about, it's always had its uses in you know in the history of Smash, but I think in Ultimate, you know, we're oh, starting to respect so the turn up much more. Yeah, almost kind of like that melee turn up. That melee turn up was such a strong tool tool in melee, and now again we see Peach having a very strong projectile mm. tool. You make you play him. I mean, just wearing many hats, or I guess in this case, wearing many different crowns in this matchup. Oh, yes. You know, we've seen that we've seen the slow pace starter with the turn up. You know, if you want to trade projectiles back and forth, we can most certainly do that. But one one advantage that you make he has that 3XA just doesn't quite have, unfortunately, not because. 3XA is bad, but just because of how Toon Link is designed is that Daisy could just be aggressive at any point in time in his match. So nice stuff using the Mary Poppins back to the legend yep. stage. And the mix-up coming out from Umeki as well. Came in, then kind of pumped fake back, and then came back in as well. Mm -hmm. Even in the very last situation, you still got some of those mix-ups on Daisy. Absolutely. Right now, both characters with their projectiles, and that's where I feel like this the neutral is really coming down to. It's like, okay, both of us have our items. How are we going to use our resources with our items in neutral combined with any of our other moves? And right now, it's just going tick for tack, back and forth. Both yeah. players at around 80, 90% right now. That's right. It's definitely going pound for pound because I think after how that last game wrapped up, they both kind of understood that I can't quite give you the lead at any time, not mm -hmm. because... You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that much better than you, but because I have a lot of respect for you and that exactly. you know how to utilize your tools to chisel away at a lead here. Okay, man, nice. It's like, it's crazy. Like, 3XA is doing a really good job, even regarding, like, Umeki has a lot of practice against these characters, and the Nair hits to the right! Of all the moves in Peach's arsenal, the Nair from behind was for, actually Yeah, the reverse Nair. Yeah, but you know what, though? We take those wholeheartedly here, but this is still very doable here for 3XA. 12% is second stop. Umeki's obviously knocking on Death's door at 136, 145, and climbing percent. This is doable, but I'm loving oh, how no. he's using the us special now. Before in game number one, he didn't quite respect the Toon Link's dare, and it almost spiked him into oblivion. This time here, he's recovering just a little bit more yep. low. Man, and staying just outside of 3XA's range, making him think like, yes, you can hit me, but just weaving right back out and then coming in with the whiff punch. Umeki already racking up 68%. That's right, man. Ooh, the cross-up with the back here, and Umeki just, the oh. onslaught doesn't stop. It most definitely does. He's, I like that little float over that bow and arrow. You know, he uses the bow and arrow when the opponent's kind of dashing towards the ledge to go for more ledge uh, coverage options. 
can use it to kind of stop you in your tracks. Obviously, bow and arrow, not the strongest move in the world, but at least stops you. Kills yes. your momentum. Nice stuff. Bomb, not quite enough to KO. Using yeah. the turn up. What's you make about to turn into? Throws the dare out a little bit too early into the magnifying glass. He goes. Oh, He's, out He's out of a jump. He's out of a jump. He has the to. Four there. Oh, yes. Oh my. He would have got back, but Umeki knew. He knew and he positioned himself with the float and got the stock. Now Umeki sitting on three stocks and 3x8 only on one. 3x8, being from NorCal, you, you got that hometown advantage, but no, it seems like it's no, not enough right now. Most definitely it's not, man. Umeki, he's playing with the spirit of a, of a thousand days and a thousand pieces <laughs> right now. He is just going to work here, and he's not looking to clock out anytime soon. Dang, I mean, his, right now he's at 160 peaches. Dev okay, this back door will do it. Okay. It, Okay, okay, it did. Okay, <laughs> I, was I, was, like, I was afraid for a second. I was, <laughs> I was like, like, no way. Like you, know, like, you know how you want to call it? Like, all right, that's going to yeah. yeah. Like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is Umeki right. just that godlike? But right now, finally, 3XA going to seal out the second stock. And what does 3XA have to do to mount this comeback, Rod? Well, I just feel like he's sticking to a much slower game plan at this point. God! Oh, whoa! Wait a minute. Wait. Damn, I actually thought he was going to go in the upper dog. <laughs> Almost walked away from commentary for a second. <laughs> Beautiful stuff right there to the 3XA to even look for those conversions yeah. while, you know, facing defeat almost. You know, has a pretty big deficit right here. Let's see what he's going to have to do to kind of chop away at it. 61%, one stock left. And like I was getting ready to say, man, he has a game plan at hand. More times than not, you know, when you're down in a deficit like this, you just go super aggro mode. He said, look, I still have, the <laughs> I still have projectiles. Yeah. I still have the opportunity to build up this wall and make it that much more difficult for you to try to come in with forward air and try to come in with, I guess, I mean, hell, Nair now. Nair kills with Peach, so. Yeah. Right now, Umeki looking to close out the stock. The back throw shouldn't quite do it. Oh, the grab release into the bomb. Oh, man. I wonder if Umeki was actually planning that as well, yeah. knowing the timing on the bomb. Okay, here's the turn up coming down. Not going to quite connect. 3XA, the bomb about to go off. And very stoic pressure coming out from mm -hmm. Umeki. A lot of people think they have to press buttons to pressure. No, Umeki was just a shark in the water. That's right, right man. He certainly swims with the big. That's for sure. Hey, Jay, All right. Jason oh, here. I like that. I like what I'm seeing here in the back air. Oh, man. God dang. Oh, it looks like he was starting to turn it in.